Well, <laughs> that pullback finally did take place. Um, surprisingly, it we went up to 88. Okay, remember we had talked about uh, the IB, and the IB was just about at 88. Uh, it was 88 and a quarter. Yeah, 88.5. And as we as we moved up there, just just to look at uh, the the uh, matrix here. You look at the number of contracts that were filled there. Now come over here and look at uh, SPY. Okay. Now that was uh, you know just compared to the rest. Yes, it was a, a, a lower volume, a little bit more than I would have anticipated. But let's look at the premium. Okay. Premium up here was 106. Finally at the last pivot it, it was at 102, which is still, you know, still a little bit high. And so this was tough, tough to see what was about to develop until you started looking at the lows, and it was the lows that kind of gave this away. Um, the highs uh, that was that was not something that uh, could that I thought was was obvious. And I, after we failed to, to to get any lower here, I went long because I really expected that we would hit the uh, uh, the IB calculation. But as I looked at these lows. In here, right, particularly right there, 164. As I extend this over, if I can, there we go. And I see that we're we're breaking that over in here. I said, oh, that doesn't look good. That does not look good at all. And maybe finally. You know, this is going to, uh, this is really going to produce a short. So we got in kind of late and then wrote it down. And that area that we had talked about, which was uh, 7875, in fact, I think it was right in here. No, that's 7975. No, I'm sorry, it was 7850. 78.50. As you can see that here. 78.50. Okay, right in there is where we expected that this market was eventually going to go. Well, where did it go? <laughs> Came right down to 78.50. Been waiting for that all day long. <laughs> And there you finally had it. Now we've got another 45 minutes. I really don't think that this is going to uh, is going to uh, rally back up, okay? And that will not uh, bode well uh, for the rest of the day, uh, even though the pattern is long. But in so many instances, we've seen the pattern fails to finish, and this pattern. Look at our high. Look at the time of this high. Okay, it's not even two o'clock yet. Right. And this thing begins to drop. So I suppose it's possible for us to uh, see this thing come back. But with all of this happening on the premium, I doubt it. So we're going to wrap things up on that note. I, I think. Also, the, the very idea that the weekend is here and nobody's really wanting to hold a long trade uh, over the weekend has probably had a lot to do with all of this drop. And of course, we could have seen a lot of 
a lot of um, um, sell stops getting hit in here as this market moved down and pushing it even further. So I got a feeling that's probably what's happened here. Regardless, uh, that's the extent of our video again today for the uh, balance of the afternoon. And I'm Rod Kusnins, Blue Man for Risk.